Hello there and welcome back to a new video. So in this video we are going to see how you can create this kind of tabs and this kind of tabs and this kind of tabs and literally any kind of tabs in DV very easily using this module called advanced tabs by DV Supreme and you can use this module to create almost any kind of tabs in DV and it does not require you to code it's just very easy so without wasting any time let's get started so before we start DV Supreme is a paid plugin and to buy it follow the first link in the description of this video click on the buy now button and here use my discount code and it will give you a 10% discount pretty cool right so here I am in the DV builder and now we can convert these pricing tables into three tabs for different pricing models so what you can do is first you will have to edit the pricing tables right here or if you haven't made this pricing table you can make them but I used a layout from DV's pre-made layouts and here I have searched for pricing and I used this one right over here and yep now I will have to duplicate them three times because I will be having three models and uh, here I have duplicated them three times and now what I can do is I can edit the pricing here you can edit them however you want so let's just say I want to make this one like 800 or something this one 15 and this one like 3000 and something similar should go for this one and yep you can simply edit them however you want so now I have different pricing for all these three rows here with three different pricing models and now what I can do is save them into the DV library or you can also go into the DV library and there you can create a new one. So yeah, let's just save these into the DV library. Let's give this a name and let's save this to library. And the same goes for this one and this one as well. All right, so now we are done with the saving this layout into the library so let's go to the dashboard and see them here as you can see now we have these three pricing layouts in the db library saved and you need to have them saved now we can delete these pricing rows from here and let's add the tabs module the supreme advanced tabs module and here what you can do is let's add in our first tab item and let's give it a name a title and we can use icon or image just like that we can replace it with an icon let's say person something like this and in the content panel here you can change your content you can have basic stuff as well like title description image and icon button stuff like that but you can also use DV library layout here so let's change it to DV library and select our pricing layout actually we'll have to refresh the page to be able to see the new layouts that we saved so let's refresh the page now if we go into the module we should be able to see the layouts here we go so let's select individual for the individual item and this layout will not appear correctly inside the DV builder it will only appear correctly if you are viewing the page on the front end so yeah let's just select the layout and go back and duplicate it just like that change the title and then Let's change the icon and under the content we'll have to change the layout for the teams something like that and let's do the same with the last item under the content we can change the layout to enterprise and that's it as you can see 
the pricing are changing when we switch the tab and this layout will only appear correctly on the front end okay so now we can go ahead and start styling these tables so first off let's go to this general setting here and you can have horizontal tabs you can even have vertical tabs like this and then you can change their position to left or right something like this and you can even have columns and yep the columns can be really helpful sometimes if you have a lot of tabs you can also change their position to left or right okay so let's have horizontal in our case and have the trigger set to click you can you can also have hover and you can show arrow for active tabs the arrow should appear right over here but we don't need that for this one and we can change the content animation so we will just have a simple fade animation you can have different animation for your inner content and the tabs alignment we can center it like this and change the image and icon placement to left there we go something like this and now if we go to the design we can style our tabs wrapper so yeah let's just give it some styling here okay so we added this background here for the tabs wrapper and we can change its width to let's say 400 pixel see how it looks okay let's have 450 much better we can now have some padding for top and bottom and yep now we can add some border radius let's say like this or you can have more like this and you can then center it well the main purpose of adding or of styling the tabs wrapper is sometimes you just want to show text with a big wrapper around your tabs but for in our case we don't need that so let's reset it image an icon we can change icon font size to smaller here it looks good icon color to black you can even change the active icon color something like this the active tab will have a different color icon so let's have this color for active okay looks good and now we can we can move to tabs and here you can add a gap between these tabs like this let's have transparent for inactive tabs an active tab can have white and inactive tab can have a black color but a little bit transparent something like this so let's do the same for icon so that it matches all right that looks much better and now we can change the active color for the text which is like this we can have pure black here and change the font to whatever you prefer let's have lato and change it to heavy we can even change the text size and here let's add some border radius for the tabs okay we are making some progress you can even change active tab rounded corners but we won't need that let's change the shadow for active tabs and and let's have it something like this change the transparency and now we need to add some margin between the tabs and the content let's go to content and go to content and let's add a top margin okay now it looks pretty good that is definitely pretty good and now let's save the page and see how it looks here we go this is how it looks and there is this one issue it's not full width and it has this background and border let's fix this real quick let's go to the module setting content 
and here let's make it transparent and uh, remove the border like that and let's save it and now we will have to remove the padding as well let's remove the left and right padding and save it so it should be looking much better now here we go as you can see now it looks pretty cool but still it's not full of it for that we will have to edit the layout that we have saved in the library all of them and make the row full width all right let's go to the row settings design sizing and here let's make it 100 percent and same goes for this as you can see now it is 100 percent we can copy the sizing styles and paste it for the other library items like this all right so let's save it and save this one as well so now the tabs should be looking pretty cool let's have a look let's save the page first so that the changes can appear and now refresh the page again there you go as you can see now the width of the pricing tables looks pretty cool the last one i don't know let's have a look i don't think i saved it so let's save it as well and let's save the page again so whenever you make a change in your library make sure you save the changes on your actual page so so that the changes can appear okay so so now it should be looking pretty cool look at that now it looks much better and the width is perfectly good and yeah let's have a look at how it looks in the mobile view as you can see it looks pretty responsive you can also change the text size and uh, and the icon size so that they can be on the same line if you want yep and i guess that is pretty much it for this video this is just one of the examples of this tabs module as i've showed you at the start of this video you can create almost any kind of tabs in dv using this module and yep that's it for this video i really hope this was helpful and do let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe to the channel because i don't usually ask to subscribe please subscribe to my channel i will really appreciate that and i'll see you in my next video till then have a great day peace out